I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night. Quinton Floyd, how are you going on this wonderful, beautiful night? I am doing amazing, Andrew. You know, it is the uh, the holiday season, so I, uh, I'm spending time with friends and family and I'm not working, so I've been enjoying myself. Oh, that's far. good, that's good, that's good. And what part of the world are you in right now? I'm on my way to Washington, D.C. Um, from Hampton, Virginia. All right, all right. And which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? Uh, it definitely has to be entrepreneur entrepreneurship. Um, I am by trade a professional DJ, and I tend to get caught up into that room a lot. But uh, outside the world of DJing, I've always diversified um, my business endeavors. And um, that's how I met the lovely Scott DeVore. Yeah, Scott DeVore is the guy that connected us, a uh, pretty amazing guy. Out in Florida, right? Jacksonville, to be exact. Um, he speaks highly of you. Yes, yeah, Scott is a great guy. He's uh, he's like a brother. Uh, he was my business mentor, uh, I want to say, from uh, 2003 into current day. Uh, and we just, I, he had a, a magnetism about him that I gravitated to. And it was beneficial for the both of us. Mm, yeah, definitely, definitely. Well, tell us who you, did you learn the skill of entrepreneurship from? Uh, Scott, it was Scott DeVore. Uh, uh, before Scott, uh, my previous life, I was a, a radio DJ. Um, and then uh, after that career, I transitioned to the military. Uh, and I had the chance to do uh, some high-level security work for a couple of presidents and dignitaries. And that's when I met Scott I was very military. Scott was very entrepreneur. Uh, and uh, Scott gave me the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, by Robert Kiyosaki. And uh, it absolutely changed my thought perspective. It allowed me to spend time with Scott, and it changed my life. Mm, that's amazing. So now that you've been doing what you've been doing via entrepreneurship or even DJing as well, like why will you continue to repeat this, Kale Quinson? Uh First of all, I love it. It's a passion of mine, and I truly have a gift for it. I, I have the ability to, uh, the guy given talent to recognize other entrepreneurs and, and connect with them and, uh, and share those business thoughts and processes and elevate us to, to the next level just with my life experiences in business, and I, and I share that freely. And the reason I continue is because uh, it's my mission. Um, you know, if I go, I go with God first, and then next is my family. This provides for my family. Hmm. Well, definitely you do have a knack for connecting. I mean, I'm all the way in Trinidad right now, and you found me, right? Uh, through Scott, of course, but isn't that fascinating? Absolutely. I, I, you know, I, I often reflect at the end of the day, and I was uh, just thinking about people like yourself who have that shining spirit to connect the world and grow and to, uh, to bring positivity in the world of entrepreneurship. And I was like, seven days ago, I did not know Angel, but now you're a close friend of mine. Not only do I know you, but I have to, I'm a fan of your work, and then I get an opportunity to participate in this uh, this fabulous format uh, that you've created. You know, hmm. life is amazing, my friend. Life is amazing. The power of a conversation. So, if we wanted to connect with you, Quentin, uh, to access your skills, be it the entrepreneurship, be it the DJing skills, where's the best place for us to go to? Uh, the best place. I would give you three, just because of the world we live in. The first place. Um, will be my Facebook page. Um, uh, we are a fan of the live broadcast, and that's simply uh, my name, Quentin Floyd, at Facebook.com. Um, and then my second choice would be my personal website, um, and that would give you the specialty of DJ services um, and things like that. And then my third option is I'm always performing all over the country, uh, and I'm either involved in an event. So if you're at an event, I'm pretty sure I some way uh, through creative directing or performing, I'm connected to it. So uh, online, my website, social media, and live events. Well, do tell me, Quentin, one other thing that you've done consistently over the last three years. Uh, be a father. Be a father. Uh, I am uh, a late father. I had my first child at the age of 40. And um, ever since then, I have been absolutely involved in the process of being a father uh, and honoring those who are... In the same situation, I don't know if you are a father as well, but if, if you are a dad, um, I, I acknowledge you for being a dad and a father. Uh, and for the past three years, that has captured my life. 
Yeah, I am a dad of two boys uh, at the time of this recording. One just turned eight, and the other is uh, almost shy of four, like in a couple of months. So, yeah, definitely on the father role. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, it absolutely changed my life. Um, and me and my family decided to use the changes of parenthood uh, again to go on more um, entrepreneurship type endeavors too for the kids, of course. So mm. just want to see their futures. How does that make you feel being a father at this age? Uh, I'm amazed. I'm absolutely amazed. I was the guy who was a hard worker, fast burner. I would do, you know, the letter of success was climbed by me many times. Um, and that's from working for the president to working with major celebrities. It absolutely means nothing. It's a hill of beans when it comes to tea time with my daughter mm. or throwing a ball at my son. I would prefer that any day of the week, any any day of the week, absolutely no questions asked. <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. All right, my friend, what would you suggest to someone that's out there who's listening, someone that may be a parent and uh, considering, uh, am I doing a great job? Uh, why would you suggest to them that they do what you've done by um, definitely building that into your value system? Oh, absolutely. I- anybody from, from your network of friends to my network of friends, our contact, if you're a parent at the very least, success is an obligation. So whatever that means for you, whether it's podcasting or DJing or if it's working at Walmart or, or, or anything, success is providing for that family and instilling the values of hard work and success to them so it can go tenfold to generation after generation. So we're all we're all great. We're all heroes to our kids. And I just try to to believe to put that into people so they can believe it, gravitate to it, and hold on to it. Mm, love it. Well, Quentin, let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Quentin, what is your earliest childhood memory? Uh, my earliest childhood memory is me uh, in a small yard in Mississippi um, playing catch uh, with my dog named Champ, who's a German shepherd. Mm. Um, and that's a very fun memory. And um, um, Uh, It makes me smile every time I think about it. (laughs) Oh, what do you think you were? Oh, gosh, man. Enjoy. I had to be definitely uh, maybe your son's age, eight or seven or eight um, at the time of this memory. Um, It was so precious to me because the dog was was exceptionally smart and exceptionally athletic. He could do all these other things um, that other dogs just couldn't do. So it made him like best buds. Mm. Why do you think this memory is so clear? And well, even if it's because of his intelligence, as you just said, how do you see this memory connecting to who you are today? Uh, uh, my history, my father, uh, he was a pastor, passed away when I was three, um, and I, I, um, I missed him. Um, and for whatever reason, this dog, this German Shepherd champ, reminded me of my father. Uh, maybe it was his, his exceptional intellect. My father was an intellect. And maybe Champ reminded me of my dad. So I've always held on to those memories of my father. And they were attached to uh, the memories of Champ. Mm, intriguing. Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind? Ah, for certain. I would love to hear that. I love the idea of how you succeed in the camp of loyalty. Um, that being said, uh, connecting the dots to even your relationship with Scott. I'm not saying he's a dog, but definitely he carries the elements of loyalty uh, and intellect as well, right? Uh, He is also a champion, um, just like Champ, right? Uh, But to see the way that in that, in those elements, it's the exact ground, if you would, the fertilizer, if you would, to help you move on. It's intriguing how they both connect to me. That's 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 absolutely. Uh, it's striking that you say that because um, I I would not have thought of that perspective. But you know, hearing it from you, I do see your point. And it's you know, it's a wild type of thing I'm experiencing. I'm like wow, that is because Scott is so precious to me. But to hear your perspective as a third party, you know, again, it makes me value my friend. Hmm. Pretty amazing stuff. If we fast forward it to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? When I was 12, oh my gosh, man. 76, 88. Uh, you know what? It had to be Run DMC, uh, um, uh, Christmas and Hollis. I, I give you a Christmas song for the time of the year, but huge Run DMC fan. Um, what they did with 
that time frame. Um, I remember having the actual physical cassette tape and playing it until the cassette tape snapped. We had to fix it with the scotch tape. I, yeah. <laughs> I remember what? those days. Ooh. Wow. Get up, man. It's like another time. Exactly. It's a wonder how those things work, right? <laughs> Yeah, it broke your mind. Mm. Well, Quinton, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Quinton? I'm ready. Quinton, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes, my wonderful kids. Are you married? No, I hope to be here soon. So you see, how many children do you have in all? I have to count them. There are so many. One, two, three, four kids. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in God? With all of me. Do you have an inner circle of friends? The innermost. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Uh, no, I do not. I'm not a TV guy. How about three hours a week? Yes, three hours a week for sure. I uh, I, I cover that news, traffic, sports center, uh, and then I do smoothies as, as much as I can. <laughs> And what about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? I'm guilty of eight plus when it comes to that. Mm. Quinton, if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who Quinton Floyd is, what would you say that is? It's a two-parter. The first one is Hua, H-O-A-H, helping others achieve happiness. Hua is derived from in the military, you would say to acknowledge superiors. I just took it and made it my own personal meaning after spending time with Scott DeVore. The last one is Daddy Gay. I said everywhere I go when I see fathers doing the right thing. Fixing the car seat, opening the door for the elderly lady. I just know it's term. Um, and that's turning into a, a very positive movement. So those two things describe me to the core. Love it. Quentin, this was such a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to say or share with our amazing audience? Uh, 12 minute convos with Angel. Say his name right. It's been an amazing experience. Thank you for your time and the opportunity. Uh, I would love to connect with people like yourself and other entrepreneurs. Um, just find Floyd the DJ or look up Daddy Gay. Love it. Quentin Floyd, thank you for being on what is inspired by 12 minute convos with Angel Jones. Hua. Angel Jones, Hua, back to you, my brother. Thank you for your time and the opportunity. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute, but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.